Hey, it's Chris, the Dating Doc, and I promised myself I was going to do one video a week, but this is one of these breaking news ones, and it hits close to home because it involves a woman who is from Austin but was here in San Antonio. It is the story of Jane Polito, a woman who was missing since Thanksgiving, has a boyfriend, didn't check in with the parents, didn't check in with the boyfriend, and now as of three hours ago from this recording, which is it's December 2nd, they find her safe. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because it proves this assumption that anytime a woman goes missing, that the boyfriend's the one at fault, right? There's always this confirmation bias, like, oh, let's talk to the man, let's talk to the boyfriend, something must have happened, right? Not everything's going to be a lifetime movie. So, let's get down to the news real quick. So, this is the original one. This is as of yesterday, questions emerge in search for missing 26-year-old woman, so again, her name, Jane Polito, has been missing since Thanksgiving, but an interview with her boyfriend raises more questions than answers. And it's one of these things where Jane's father, Manuel, stated that he and Maria have very good communication with Jane. The last person who saw Jane is her boyfriend, David Hadslerig. In an interview, reporter Robin, et cetera, et cetera, she left after Thanksgiving dinner. This is the boyfriend speaking. She left after Thanksgiving dinner while I was visiting my brothers, and she didn't really let anybody know where we went. Okay? So last time he saw her was after Thanksgiving dinner. Yes. Reporter, what time did you guys eat? About 3. It was 3. Around what time did she leave? She left way later than that, at 11, 11 p.m. So last time he spoke to her was sometime before 11 p.m. Hauserig says, boyfriend, it was around 8.30 the last time I spoke to her. I didn't speak to her in person after that. She texted me twice since this whole thing, since she left. That's really all there, all there is. This will create a time frame of about an hour and a half where Jane didn't speak to her boyfriend of four years. Been together for four years and all of a sudden she goes missing, right? Yet according to David, not only did they see speaking to each other in person, she was occupying the same location for that same amount of time. She was in the same spot from from evening 8:30 on. Reporter, what was she, what what has she said when she's texted you? How's the rig? Well, she did a Bible verse and then it was I'm fine, I'll call you later. What <laughs> when did she text you? At this point, How's the rig decided to ignore the question, to turn the camera and make a plea for Jane to call. How's the rig? I mean, I just look Jane, if you're out there, please call us and let us know you're all right. I understand if you need a break, but just let us know you're okay. That's all we need to know. Thank you. Hmm. So she skips time with her family and her boyfriend of four, uh, four years and from 8.30 p.m. on was missing. I'm not saying anything, but I am saying something, right? So then let me fast forward here. Okay, this is more one of those sentimental type of uh, uh, articles here. And this is from CBS Austin because she's from Austin, but she was in San Antonio getting her back I mean, uh, doing Thanksgiving. So we see here, I want some answers, right? Jane Polito's boyfriend, David, was the last to see her before she went missing. Maria and Manuel Polito have been searching for the missing daughter. All right, little kid picture there, right? They put the kid picture because they want to tug at your heart, right? In case she, you know, unfortunately, uh, they find her missing in the worst condition. And then they put, you know, a little, little nice little photo here. Jane Polito was last seen in San Antonio on Thanksgiving night. Okay, boom, got that. So then, lo and behold, missing Austin woman who went missing Thanksgiving night in San Antonio found safe. Of course she was safe. She was safe. Missing 26-year-old woman has been found safe. The family Jane Polito told our Robin uh, Aguinie that she has been located and is safe. Paul Leader and her boyfriend do drove down to, uh, from Austin to have dinner with his family on Thanksgiving at the Thousand Oaks Apartments in San Antonio when she disappeared. They ain't got no more information, right? They ain't got no more information, just the fact that she's safe. So let me get back to a little picture here. So it goes back to the fact that anytime a woman goes missing, we're like, hey, look, this boyfriend or husband's at fault. I am not trying to justify any past situations. All I'm saying is let's get away from that confirmation bias. There are some women that go missing for the most wrong reasons. And yes, men are at fault, whether it's boyfriend, father, uncle, stranger. I got that piece. But then you have cases like this. You have a woman 
who leaves her boyfriend, leaves her family on Thanksgiving, okay? I have no proof, but the fact that she was gone from 8.30 p.m. and all of a sudden now is found, let's see, on December 2nd, what did she need a break from that long? I can understand if, you know, family is a little toxic, a little annoying, but you were gone that long? Talk to me now, right? So then they finally find her today. She's, she's safe and sound. And all I'm saying is let's get away from this proven uh, guilty to a proven innocent. Where all of a sudden you have internet cops going in there on the boyfriend and saying, well, search his apartment, search his house. He probably did something. Not every case is like that. That's what's called confirmation bias. You're trying to, you see the news and you assume every single thing's like that, right? You have to look at all the details and you have to wait to see what emerges. Do not assume that all men are at fault because then this gets in your mind that every single man is dangerous, that when a woman goes missing, she is the victim. When in reality, there is a possibility that she was scheming behind his back. The fact she was gone that long, okay, unless she was paying for a hotel, she was staying with someone. She was staying with someone. It could have been a female friend or it could have been a side friend, if you know what I'm saying. So that's the point of this video. I'm glad she's safe, okay, regardless, as a soldier, I, I want to make sure that, that, that people make it in safe, but if they're knuckleheads, we're going to punish them later, right? In this case, all right, we need to see that Jane... Jane, the facts are she didn't communicate with her parents. She didn't communicate with her ex or her boyfriend. Soon to probably be ex if, if he's not a simp. But what do y'all think? Drop a comment below. Let me know. Was she scheming? Did she just need time away from her family for almost 10 days? Talk to me. Let me know what you think. Chris the Dating Doc signing out. Peace.